I welcome you to our telecast today as we reflect together from the Open Heavens Daily Guide written by Pastor Yi Adeboe, the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. My name is Patrick Tolani. I'm a pastor with Christ Love Assembly, a parish of the Redeemed Christian Church of God in Oxford. The Bible passage we're looking at is the book of Matthew, chapter 25, verse 31 to 46. When the Son of Man comes in his glory and all the holy angels with him, then he will sit on the throne of his glory, and all the nations will be gathered before him, and he will separate them one from another, as a shepherd divides his sheep from the goats, and he will set the sheep on the right hand, but the goats on the left. Then the king will say to those on the right hand, Come, you blessed of my father, inherit the kingdom, prepare for you from the foundation of the world. For I was hungry, and you gave me food. I was thirsty, and you gave me drink. I was a stranger, and you took me in. I was naked, and you clothed me. I was sick, and you visited me. I was in prison, and you came to me. Then the righteous will answer him and say, Lord, when did we see you hungry and feed you or thirsty and give you drink? When did we see you a stranger and we took you in or naked and clothed you? Or when did we see you sick or in prison and come to you? And the king will answer and say to them, Assuredly, I say unto you, in as much as you did it to one of the least of these, my brethren, you did it to me. Then will he also say to those on the left, Depart from me, you cursed, into the everlasting fire, prepared for the devil and his angels. If I was hungry, and you gave me no food, I was thirsty, and you gave me no drink. I was a stranger, and you did not take me in, and naked, you did not clothe me. Sick and in prison, and you did not visit me. Then they also we answer him and say, Lord, when did we see you hungry or thirsty, or a stranger or naked or sick or in prison, and did not minister to you? Then he will answer them, saying, Assuredly I say to you, inasmuch as you did not do it to one of the least of these, you did not do it to me. And these will go away into everlasting punishment, but the righteous into eternal life. A memory verse, John 10, 27. My sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. Now from the Bible passage we, we, we just read, it is interesting to note that on the day of judgment, all nations will come to be judged. And there will be a separation between the sheep and the goats. God will always refer to his children as sheep. He will never refer to them as goats. Goats and sheep might be allowed to intermix and pasture together. But at the right time, the ultimate separation will take place. The sheep to the right and the goats to the left. From that point, they will move on to their eternal destination. When you are in church, be careful. The person sitting next to you might be a goat. Can you also search your soul and find out whether you are a goat or a sheep? Our action point. Use the criteria set by Jesus in John 10, 27 to judge yourself and see whether you are a sheep or you are a goat. If you have strayed from the fold, return to his loving arms and surrender your life to him. As you carry out this self-assessment, I pray the Lord will reveal yourself to you and you will make the necessary adjustment in the name of Jesus. Amen. The Lord bless you. Have a glorious day and bye for now.